That's a huge bitch. Shows up to go fishing in an effing Lambo. You need a different fishing vehicle, homie. <laughs> it's a fishing car. Special delivery, sir. Why, thank you, Mr. Oliver. Nye. Introduce yourself. My name is Jonathan Nguyen, aka Toad's Only, aka Grind Mentality One, aka the fish killer, aka the land tuna killer. <laughs> AKA the guy going up and down the street at 6.30 in the morning, revving. <laughs> AKA Lambo fishing car, oh, AKA man. trying to know. And here comes the other one. Is this, is this the Brian Friedman of Lip Rippers? Buenos dias. Ready to catch some fish. What's up, man? Who rolls up tuna fishing in jeans? You like them, dude? They're ripped, they're nice. <laughs> they're good to go. <laughs> Those things are gonna get ruined. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? We got the man, the myth, the legend, Billy. Oh man! Just all the big fish. Ha! Just doing some last-minute rigging here. Ah, so he's... All right, all right. Yeah, we got a, a little bit of a late-night bite on this big bluefin stuff on the flat falls. So we're doing some uh, last-minute rigging here. You know, rigging this 130-pound line feels tiny. Lately, we've been fishing straight 400-pound mono. So, uh, I'm going for the big boys today. Hopefully I like it. So I wore the appropriate crew neck sweater, huh? Absolute big base, thick lines, heavy. Oh man, that's what we need right there. <laughs> that's what's up. That's exactly what we need. Oh, hundo pound. Oh, hundo. I like it. All right, let's go get them, boys. So last time we went out, we already had uh, five bluefin on deck, three jumbles, and then uh, we we're like, all right, guys, the day's over. Uh, you know, let's take all the fish out of the kill bag and take some pictures. And right when we do that, we get, uh, there's foamers <laughs> just straight right off the bow. So Billy busts a U-turn and gun into the foamers. One thing we forgot is, uh, see, see this beast master right here? Is a uh, $2,000 setup. We still have to kite up with the balloon. So he, when he guns it, his freaking rod flies away <laughs> and it's in the air. Gone. 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 <laughs> Donated to two thousand dollars set up. It's just literally flying in the air. So the, the, it comes the, crashing down. So yeah, it comes crashing down. The reels in the water. Good thing we had the helium balloon. <laughs> so it was it was afloat. So I did another U-turn. I get fucking like jigs. I just go. What? <laughs> we can reel it back in. He was like, oh. My two thousand dollars setup is flying away with the kite. <laughs> oh my god! And then, and then we proceeded to put five more fifty-pound bluefin on the boat. Uh, it was crazy over, so yeah. rounded our, our fun day off at ten fish. And, that, and that's saltwater fishing for you guys. You know, anything can happen. Anything can happen. That's a hell of a story. <laughs> for bluefin stuff, we normally like a little bit more weather. You know, they like that rough weather stuff, but uh. It's supposed to be somewhat calm, really calm today, but I'm just I'm just praying for a little bit of weather, you know. But reports say it's supposed to be calm, nice ride out. But we'll see with the afternoon stuff and see if we can get some weather going. More weather, it's better for that bluefin stuff. What you rigging up, brother?
stats, Billy? How's the season been pan out for you this so far? The this season's year? been pretty good. You know, I got my boat a little late. You know, um, so I'm, I would say I'm still a little bit behind from some of the other boys. But so far, so good. I've only been running this boat for about three weeks. Man, we've got a. Uh, what are you looking at there? I'm looking at some tuna swimming around the boat right now. You know, we're kind of in the zone already, so we're gonna set up the kite while we do some searching because we're only driving around, you know, 10 to 12 knots, which is perfect speed. So we're just kind of get everything ready now, and uh, we'll fly the yummy, and uh, like anything, hopefully get a little bit lucky. Piece of tape, small pieces. We're using the helium setup today, and generally with helium, it's just a little bit easier to turn. Uh, when there's very low wind, it's easy to use, and uh, it makes it super convenient. But as you saw earlier, you kind of need um, helium. That's the hard part. So my boat, I rigged it up all custom with a tank, with a custom line and everything. And uh, it just makes it really easy. Efficiency, right? Efficiency, man. Efficiency. You know, I always believe in the five Ps. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Most Somebody put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> These fish are high right now, 40 to 60 feet. That's really high. Normally we'll see them below 150 feet. And if they're below 150, they're not ready to bite yet. But if they're up high, expect some good things. Everyone rub it for good luck, man. All right, give, give, give it a little rub and tug. What are we gonna name them? And what are you rigging here, Johnny? This is the flag, this is the indicator. This is one of the most important things of this rig. Um, the indicator, that way you can see where your yummy flyer is, because we have so far behind the boat, it's, it's impossible to stare, stare at the yummy the whole time. So uh, what we do is we put this indicator up about uh, 30 to 40 feet up the line. Um, so you that, that, visual yep, so you have a visual because we're literally fishing maybe 100 yards back, 150 yards back behind a boat, and uh, without that, it's impossible to locate it and see a bite. At strike, we fished 30 pounds of drag, and near the end of the pipe, we bumped it up to full, using about 38, 40 pounds of drag. A lot of drag. A lot of drag, man. dragging this thing and uh, what we're looking for is a big explosion you know that explosion you look at it, it, seems, it seems like a 200 pound guy just make a huge cannonball right next to the yummy and the next thing you look for is uh, that flag make sure it goes down and that means you got bit No, it was way outside. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh! Oh, shit. Be careful! Watch out! Watch out! You saw that? Oh, man. Oh, oh, he's right behind it. Tease it, tease it, tease it, tease it. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, we're on! We're on! Get him! Get him, Jay! Oh. Why, 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 why? Oh. oh! That was sick! <laughs> that was crazy. I had too much slack that I couldn't wind. That was so sick! Holy f***, that was a big one! What? <laughs> oh, he f***ing felt the crab. Oh, man. Hey, put it in gear? Dude, what? he smoked it. it. <laughs> I jigged him. Hold on, how does he look? He's kind of retarded, huh? No, no, he looks good. Uh, looks good enough. 
took it, man. He did. <laughs> it was under water. <laughs> but for that, like, I had fucking. He was like, <laughs> that kite straight up. We, we had to fucking. If we get bit, we, get, we had to put it in gear. Yeah, he was chasing it. Oh, yeah. Hey, he's sideways, huh? Let me see him. Johnny, what just happened, bro? Dude, I was just jigging this fucking flying fish on the surface. <laughs> Bluefin came and just fucking chomped it. Fucking dead still. I had 100 yards of line straight up in the air. Look, look straight in the air. <laughs> the up. We got no wind. <laughs> it was, was kind of hard to come tight on 100 yards when you line straight up in the air. <laughs> it's a wind, wind, wind. I'm like, yeah. For what reason? All right, well, we stuck it out to the end. It's about uh, 9.45 right now, you know. Stayed a little bit later than usual, trying to get a few of these fish. We were marking them on the meter. They were showing up. We heard hookups here and there. But unfortunately, today, we were not the lucky ones, and our number was not drawn. But this doesn't mean that it's the end, you know. It's, uh, you know, the, the motto for Bluefin is you just got to keep going. And uh, whether it's this time or the next time, you just never quit. This is part of the game, right? Absolutely. You know, they call it fishing, not catching. Fishing sucks. Catching's fun. But I think people keep missing the point that this is actually pretty hard to do. It right? is. Sometimes it looks easy, but that's why it's special. It's because it is difficult to Absolutely. pull hook you know, and land one of these things. You know, it's bluefin. You know, they're the mystical creatures, you know, and it, it's the one goal that a lot of fishermen have in common is to land that one trophy fish. And that's what we did today. We went trophy hunting, you that's know. It. Um, we, we gave it our all, we tried our best, you know, all the guys stuck it out really well. And unfortunately today was not our day, but that doesn't mean, you know, we're not going to do it again. So right. until next time, I'll see you guys again, and uh, I'm just going to go again. Alright guys, stay tuned, this won't be the last adventure. Comment, subscribe, like, all that other crap I hate telling you people to do. Thanks, appreciate y'all, we out. Johnny's in the door! Woo! Got it, got it, dude! <laughs>